Hello everybody. Today we are going to make a Grecian urn out of clay. This will be self-drying clay, which means it won't go in the kiln. It'll just dry on its own. We'll paint it when it's all dry. But first I want to talk a little bit about different shapes of these Grecian urns. This is their classic ancient Greek urn style with a base smaller at the bottom getting larger and handles it could also have a lid here's another style you may have seen a urn like this with plants out of it this would make a nice planter but this is also an an urn and here we have another urn this would probably keep ashes of a dead person and notice how it's smaller at the bottom getting larger at the top and it has a lid I also want to discuss um, the designs we're going to use on our Grecian urns. There's a river in Greece called the Meander, and it's been said that these designs follow a meander. It's one, one continuous line that goes back and forth, in and out, like the river Meander does. I've been trying to copy this one here, so it'll go up, over down, over just a little bit, up, over, down, and then it just keeps going, one continuous line. And supposedly all these designs are also just one continuous line. So keep that in mind when we go to decorate our urns. So everybody will get one of these bags, and inside the bag we have clay, a napkin for when we paint, some blue paint, red paint, a brush, and some white paint. Well, this little thing here is to mix the colors in later if you want to. You can make purple. And when we paint, first of all, we'll paint the whole thing with white. See how I did that with white? And then, and then we'll paint the other colors on here. So, first thing we're going to do is get the clay out of the bag. And I'm going to take part of it aside, set that aside in case I want to make a lid or a base or handles. Like so, see this base? So the first thing we're going to do is take our clay and form it into a ball. Sometimes you have to smash a little bit or roll it around like this. And what we're going to do first is take our thumbs and push them into the middle of this ball and we're going to be creating a pinch pot actually so I'm pinching it so I have my hand like this quack 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 like a duck and I'm pinching it and pulling it up also as I go along because I want to make it taller sometimes you just use this hand sometimes both hands whatever works for you And notice these cracks in here. I don't like that, so I'm going to smooth it out with some water. Just dip your hand in that water and rub it onto the clay. So I'm going to keep going. I'm going to tap it a little bit so I get a flat bottom there. And I'm turning it as I'm pinching and pulling. And... and Oh, now I want to smooth that out some more. Well, this is just a smaller urn. And I'm going to show you how to put the base on there. So I did tap that on there to make a flat bottom. And so take part of this clay, roll it into a ball, and then back and forth to make it into a a snake or a coil. See how I'm doing that? And try and make it even. Not a big lump in the middle there. So now I'm just going to place this on here so I can get the right, right size. Oh, right about there. I'm going to pinch it off. 
and I have my pencil here. So remember when we made those clay suns and we scratched to attach, and what else did we make? A bear? Well, anyway, we're going to scratch to attach. So I have to scratch this where I'm going to put that coil. Just kind of scratch it around with the pencil. It's nice and scratched up. And I also have to scratch this piece. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Now take and put a little water on this piece here. This kind of works like glue. And here as well. And I'm going to put my coil here. Oh, my bit's a little too big. And I'm going to smoosh it on there. And smooth it out a little bit. Oh, I, I want to smooth out the sides more. And that should be good. So there we have the base. The coil there is on the on the bottom for a base. That's nice. Hmm? So we would do the same thing for um, handles. Actually, I could use this one. And it's also too big. So I'm going to put it right here. And I'm going to indicate where that's going to go. Right here and right here. And scratch that part. Scratch this here. Also, I have to scratch, whoops, scratch the end of this one and this. Water here, here, and here. And now I'm going to smoosh my handle on here. Well, it's a flatter handle, but that's okay. It'll work. See what I mean? This one's a little different. But that'll work. We'll be able to pick up our urn with that. So, let's say I want to make a lid. Let's take the rest of this clay. Once again, roll it into a ball. And now I'm going to smash it down. Smash it down some more. And that'll work. However, I need a little bit for the um, something to hold it. So I'm going to just carve off a little bit here. Let's see if that'll still fit. Yep, that'll work. And I think I'll just make another little rounded, rounded thing like that. And I'm going to put it right here in the middle. Scratch this part as well. And put it on there. Now you could uh, carve a design into the clay now, like I did here. Or you could wait and paint it later. Let this dry. Now this one I made yesterday. It's almost dry so when it's dry first use the white paint paint the whole thing with white and then your red and blue or you could mix it to make purple okay have a good time making these urns your Grecian urn and I'm gonna go ahead and smooth this out some more okay start with the ball make a pinch pot and I'll see you next time